Welcome everyone to my HD playthrough of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings on highest settings. This will be a complete playthrough of the game, showing all all gameplay, basically playing the game from start to finish. It's unavailable, blah, blah, yeah, he, he installed the game. I want to do it. Time and difficulty adjusted to keep the story moving. Complete RPG experience. I want to do normal. Well, I'm not like okay. So, thank you for watching, and this is gonna be. I'm very psyched for this game. <laughs> okay. Monster in my portrayal of Witchers. Anonymous. But every, in the first game, too, everyone thought of witches as these evil, monstrous creatures, and they're not really. Mind you, I did only play like the half, half of the first game, so I'm not really up to date on the story, so, but that should be okay. I'm guessing they're gonna, they're gonna recap the story for people that haven't played the first game. There's gonna be a lot of newcomers to the series here. Killer dies at the hands of Geralt of Riviera. Yeah, that's the guy you play. At least in the first one. I'm guessing in the second one too. Seven one. Fall seventy one. It's raining. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, the cutscene has lag. Or maybe it's just maybe it's supposed to be that way. I sure hope it is. Geralt, alright. Run, Geralt, my girlfriend cut you cheating. Run! <laughs> she will get you. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? Orange to grand, Dad. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be there. He's awake. You daft! Don't go in there. Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> what the fuck? Roll again. Why? The dice didn't roll. Calling me a cheat. Take it back. Are they gonna fight each other now in the middle of the dungeon cell? Look, That's he's funny. awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages, mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Fuck say, they plow witches come the equinox. Is this cutscene supposed to be like spooky eyes? <laughs> Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. Okay, I wonder who this person is. We've been introduced. Vernon Roach. I'd shake my, your hand if I could. 
<laughs> Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Wow, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. Graphics are fucking awesome. Geralt of Rivia. Care to introduce us? No, thanks. <laughs> Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. On the rocks, please. Oh, fuck. She's already gone. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse, I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that, for nothing. No, for Tamaria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. This morning the king summoned me. So I don't even know what happened myself, so... What ultimately happened to the dragon? Okay, the king summoned me, Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Also, oh, now they're gonna recap it, huh? Oh, maybe the, the, the dialogue option influenced where I would start, but I doubt it. They have the salt. Dawn. Where, where the fuck is he? Some some war tent or something? Oi oi oi. <gasps> Titties in the first video. Oh man. Which you ah. are you whoop? His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King... We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. What an asshole. <laughs> Just walks in. Maybe let me control Geralt at some stupid point. War. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. There are no wise wars. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. Oh, that's true. Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know, these bastards could vie for the throne in the future. Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I dreamed of fucking someone else. <laughs> that dream. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. 
Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. Time to go! All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Oh man, look at this shit. Man, look how bright it is outside. Okay. Thanks for watching the first part. I'm gonna go save and please continue watching. <laughs>